Hi guys, it's Anne here, and today's video is a recap of my February 2019 nail polishes and an introduction to my March 2019 nail polishes as part of my nail polish project pan-ish for 2019. So let's actually start off with the nail polishes that are actually in the project pan. And first off is the Julep uh, nail polish in Jody. Unfortunately, you can't really see where I'm at um, because I literally just used this, but I'm somewhere like right, I'm somewhere way down at the bottom and it's getting to like, I might be able to get one to two more uses out of this. So I have this on my toenails right now. This one again is in Julep, it's Caitlin. I haven't used this one at all. I'll definitely get more use out of this one in the spring summertime. And for these little guys, I haven't used the purple sparkly one yet, but I have used uh, both of these ones a couple of times. Although when you look at them, you would never tell. Um, Cause I don't, I don't know, they're just, it's very sheer. So I don't know if I'm ever gonna be able to finish those. So for the February polishes that I'm keeping, the first one for sure that I knew I was gonna keep anyway was this one in Lupita by Julep. Um, this is what it looks like. I'm somewhere down here. You know when I like a polish is when I'm like, have a lot of usage, usage out of it. And that's what, uh, that's what Lupita looks like. The second one, which I'm a little sad that it kind of came up so early in the year because it's way more of a summertime one for me, is this Sally Hansen Extreme Wear Nails um, in the shade Crushed. It's this uh, really nice orange uh, shade. It's a very like, um, it's got, this is what it looks like on the nail thing. It's got uh, a nice like pearlescence to it. So it looks really pretty. That's nail polish on the finger. And then this might be my perfect nude. It is the Sally Hansen Extreme Wear in Bear It All. It's just uh, this one. And this is what it looks like on the little card. Oops, that's what it looks like on the little card. This is like my perfect nude. It is like a nude that looks okay. Like a lot of nudes will look like, I don't know, jaundicey or like weird. Like they just, they, the color tone is not right. That's the perfect nude for me. So one that's still on the fence for me is this Hartley uh, nail polish from Julep. It's really pretty. It's like a glitter uh, nail polish. You can see I'm somewhere, if it'll focus on it. Yeah, so you can see like I'm somewhere around here-ish. This is one that I'm just, I'm, I'm still on the fence about. I actually really like it, but again, the hearts throw me off and I realize there's not a lot of hearts in it. You could probably pick them out. And the conundrum with this is I don't, because it has a heart, I feel like I need to wear it in February. But I think Valentine's Day is dumb. So I feel like it's cheesy wearing this on Valentine's Day. So I tend to not wear it. I really should just wear this any time of year. And I probably would get more use out of it. And I do like it. So, but I'm still on the fence because it's like, is this really necessary? Like, if I'm only going to use it here and there and I don't love it, I don't know. We'll see. So just to show that's what Harley looks like on the nail card. Now, two nail polishes that I'm torn about are uh, Julep Miriam and the Sally Hansen Extreme Wear in Flirt. And you can see by um, looking at them that they're very, very, very similar. Um, which one am I wearing on my nails right now? Can you tell? Can you tell? It's actually this one. Um, that's how similar they are. I realized with these nail polishes, just this kind of color is not something I wear very often, so I know I don't need to. And there's sort of pros and cons with both of these. I like the tone of this one a little bit better. It's more of a vampy. It's got a bit more reddish to it, if that makes sense. Um, whereas this one is, because it, it has the gold shimmer, it sort of tones down or dials down the redness in it. Um, but this one goes on really nice. Like the formula for this one is really nice. This one took like three coats to go on. It was a little streaky. <sighs> so they're both in the baby. I really, I almost need to do like a head-to-head -head comparison um, and I might do that later on this year um, and just do like one hand with one color, one hand with the other and just see which one it is that I do really like better because at this point they're still sort of neck and neck because I like them for different reasons but I don't love either one of them, if that makes sense. So I already knew I was going to get rid of this one but I had to test it to make sure and this is the nail polish uh, Kelsey by Julep. And yeah, this color's awful on me. When I put it on, I wanted to take it off immediately. That's how much I don't like this color, but I wore it for like two days just to be sure. Yeah, don't like that one. Another one that surprised me that I don't like, and I, I think it's just, it's maybe 
because it's a little too gold. I feel like if the base of this was like a rose gold, I would prefer the color better, but it's this uh, Jewel of Nail Polish in Love. I mean, it looks really cool. It's incredibly unique. It is a bit sheer, and yeah, I think because it is a bit sheer and the gold tone, when a nail polish is too yellowy for my skin tone, it looks a bit weird because I'm definitely more of a cool tone. So yeah, I'm a little sad because, and I'm a little surprised because it does look so pretty and I mean the packaging of this is so pretty. I love the gold cap. But yeah, I just, I didn't like it. I Every time I looked at my nails, I'm like, I don't like this. I don't like this on my nails. It doesn't look good. Okay, now on to March's nail polish picks. And the first one is a green nail polish because St. Patrick's Day, yeah, I know, cheesy. It's the Sinful Colors uh, Nail Polish in Rise and Shine. And this is what it looks like on the nail card. So you can see on the nail card, it's um, matte. I don't know why it does that. I have another Sinful Colors one that's a little bit matte as well. I'll be honest, I don't really like this formula, particularly because of that. And yeah, it just, it's a bit of a strange formula. It's a bit streaky. The reason why I keep this one is because it's really the only green that I have, like a true green. Um, I have one other green, but it's more pearlescent, so it's not the same. So I keep this one because it's good for like nail art and stuff, but in all honesty, I probably will get rid of this one because I think I want to find a better formula um, in like a true green color. So I also picked a uh, teal or a nice light, light green. This is the nail polish uh, Alyssa from Julep. So that's what that one looks like there. And you can see I've used this quite a few times because I'm right about there. I think I'll probably keep that one. I do have another similar color in that color workshop stuff that I got in December. There's like a robin's egg blue in that. So they're similar but not the same because this one's more green for sure. One that I haven't used, at least, I'm not sure if this was mine or if it was my mom's. Um, I don't ever really remember using this, but I think it is mine. It says NYC nail polish, and there's no uh, color name on it that I can see, but it does say the number 128A on the back. So, and that's what that one looks like. I thought that was just a really pretty color for spring. I do have another NYC one, but it's a bit more sheer. It's more like a top coat, whereas this one is more like a true nail polish, I think. And my fourth pick for the month of March was this one, because it's the name Queen Anne. I really like it. <laughs> um, it has the name. It's from Julep, so yes, it's called Queen Anne. It was there. Where does it show on the side? There? I think it was their third birthday. I have no idea why they picked Queen Anne for their third birthday, but whatevs. Um, so this is what it looks like on the card. It's definitely like a solid glitter. Again, I didn't use a sponge for this. I just used the brush. So it is a tiny bit rough, but nothing like that stardust finish. Um, and yeah, I guess I'm partial to this because it's called Queen Anne. So the random picks for March are very interesting. So I use Excel's random function and a lot of times it'll pick up colors that I've already used um, or stuff that's in my project pan, but I never ever like whatever it picks, that's what I go with. So this is really interesting. So the first one that I picked was Alfie, which is a color that I really like. It's sort of like a lilac -y metallic silver. Um, it must be one of the original ones that I have, or I must have had this for, yes, this is, I think, 2011 on it. <laughs> um, and I know that because it has the name, like, up, I don't know if you can see, yeah, it's got the name right up in here, and most of them have the name on the bottom, and the date on the bottom. Um, and this one says Made in USA, and it says 2011. So, and you can tell, I can't tell, I honestly can't tell how much of this I've used, if I've I know I've used it, but it's hard to see. So I don't know. We'll see how that one goes. Another julep one that it picked is this one called uh, Elena. I want to say it's Elena. It's got an eye in it. Um, it's just this nice, like, taupey gray color. Um, yeah. it's, it's a very, like, stormy night or gray skies night kind of color. And then again, this, so that was kind of two neutrally ones. And then the third one I picked that was very interesting was this color workshop one um, that's in like a taupey brown color. Uh, so that was that was interesting that it sort of picked three um, three very similar type shades, like in the same sort of range. Um, and then the last one I picked is totally different. It was this one called. The Celebrity Bash um, from Rimmel, or just sorry, Celebrity Bash from Rimmel, and it's like a really deep, uh, 
It's like a deep blood red. I, I would call that definitely a deep blood red. Maybe not the most suitable March nail polish, but whatever. <laughs> there we go. So these are the four that I picked. Um, very spring-like and very March. And these are the ones that the randomizer picked. Very not like March. Very unspring-like. Sorry. Focus in on those. Like a dark and stormy night in November. That's what these colors remind me of. So quite the interesting um, difference between the ones that I picked and the ones that uh, the randomizer picked. So that's it. That's the recap of the February nail polishes and the introduction of the March nail polishes for my 2019 nail polish project. I hope you liked this video. If you did, feel free to give it a little thumbs up down below. And I would love it if you would subscribe to my tiny little channel here in Toronto, Canada. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you sometime soon. Bye.